protesters took over the lobby of the Marlboro Hotel. These sisters angry and anguished. I'm here because what happened at this hotel was wrong. My heart, it just hurt. I was just, I was so devastated. I was like, because these things happen all the time. They saw this video posted on social media of an incident on Christmas Day. We're taken in the basement now, apparently. The woman sobbing, her hands apparently tied behind her back with zip ties. She calls one of the men a pervert and tries to leave, but is restrained. No one from the Marlboro would talk to us about what happened here on that day, but they provided a statement saying that at about 1 o'clock, an intoxicated female came into this lobby with a knife and started threatening people. They phoned Winnipeg police who told them to protect our guests and staff, which they did using wrist restraints. Police did come and arrest the woman. She was charged with assault with a weapon. Indigenous people stay here when they come to Winnipeg for medical appointments. First Nations leaders want that to end. What has happened here is inhumane. What has happened here is a disgrace. We'll make sure that we will follow up with Health Canada, who puts our people here. They're no, no longer, they are no longer going to disrespect our people that are put here. Police say it's not clear if this can be considered a citizen's arrest, but that wrist ties can be used to restrain people, although handcuffs are preferred. They've opened another investigation into the circumstances of the video. Karen Pauls, CBC News, Winnipeg.